This is James Rivera again with Sure Plus Truck Mirrors. Uh, I told you before, a truck mirrors made in Chicago Heights. We do have a label on right here. Made in America by Americans, right here in Chicago Heights. We're outside of uh, suburbs in Chicago right now, Elmer's, right by O'Hare Airport. So you may hear an airplane go by and cause a little noise traffic for me, so bear with me. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and convert this type of mirror head, you see as one of our newer classic style mirror heads, into uh, our West Coast mirror so you could uh, then replace the mirror at will at home and, and not have to necessarily buy the OEM style mirror. You can go back to an older West Coast if, if need be. I know there's an expense these days in, in, in these newer style mirrors. They're more expensive than the older style mirrors. These are also be able to replace these just about at any truck parts store or auto parts store or if you're on the road you can replace them at a truck stop and not have to worry about getting the actual OEM style mirror again. So if you bear with me, I'm going to show you through a series of these clamps how to put on, how to put these mirror heads on that I have in my hand here. You'll be able to, I'll show you how they go on. And, and this particular one, some of you, some of your truck mirrors like this fender kit have what I call as a post mount. Now, when you have this, these brackets are designed for one and an eighth inch bracketry like you see on this assembly here. Sometimes you have out here on a fender kit, mostly on your Navistar, uh, Navistar trucks, they'll have what they call a pole mount here with a spot mirror, square spot mirror, something like the one that sits up there. This particular bracket we have here, this number 1150, would mount onto that pipe like that, and, and then you'd be able to mount your spot mirror to it just like that. And put your spot mirror on one side and then tighten this up and it's, it'll slide over the pole and be tight. So there again, you'd be able to buy a, a, a less expensive spot mirror than the ones that cost, you know, $50, $60. You can buy a $10, $15 spot mirror, put it on the bracket that exists here already and be down the road. So again, we're gonna show you with a couple brackets here how to install a West Coast mirror. So bear with me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove these off so you see what these look like now. In minutes you'll see it with a West Coast and another spot mirror, okay? Thank you, stand by. So anyways, right here I have a, uh, just one of my electric drills from my house. And I have what's called a Torx bit in the end of it. It's a, a T30 Torx bit. Let's put it in here like this and unzip the screws out of there. And what they do is they call they call this um, they call this what they call is the clamshell, and then it reduces the mirror. Now this particular setup we have looks to be electrical, so they might have a heated mirror in here. So we can connect to that with a heated spot mirrors if need be. So what I'm going to do is seeing how this particular model that I pulled right away is electrically. Uh, It'll be electrically challenged for me because I don't want to pull all their mirror off and have to replace it with electrical right now. I'm going to just go on the outside of this and show you how to do it on the outside of this bracket, okay? And leave their mirrors alone. But if need be, you could remove their mirror through this, uh, this clamshell with the, the Torx bit. But I'm going to just go on the outside of it and I'll show you how the brackets will adapt to this bracket. So if you give me just a minute, I'll show you the brackets all hooked up, and then we'll put a West Coast on there. Hi, James here again with Sure Plus. Getting ready to install a bracketry on an inch and eight bracket uh, off the side of the truck, inch and eight bracket, which I'm going to put on a spot mirror now here. This is what we have to, there are adapters that fit one and an eighth inch tubing. Uh, as you can see, I've already put on a West Coast motorized mirror, which then you'd be able to hook up with a good electrician into your system, up to your switches in the into the harness. We do have the full harness that comes with it and the switches if you don't have currently uh, set up for motorized mirrors. That would come in a kit in our in our motorized system. Here I have, like I said, I'm going to put, I'm going to show you how to, if you were to remove all this and that's what I've done with the West Coast, I am now going to put on what I would do underneath is a spot mirror on here and by taking that, this clamp, what I, I call a clamp here and putting it on there like that, I then install it over the one and eighth inch arm with the Clip back on there. Let me get rid of that one there. And now you have your clamp installed. And if I wanted to put it on the outside, which I probably would underneath that spot mirror, but for for show purposes right here, right now, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it underneath so you could see what it would look like as far as a West Coast and a spot mirror. Today I'm using a five and a half by eight and a half convex spot mirror because most people for 
before the bottom of the truck would use a convex mirror so when they look back that way it gives you a better view so we're going to install a convex mirror on the bottom of that right now and then show you what that would look like right now i need to get a let me see if it'll go on there with that if not i'll go this way just for, for sure actually what i want to do is i'm going to take a second out to loosen these up and get the uh torque screws loose so i can give it some pivotal on there so give me one second up hey james again with sure plus what I had to do here is I had to move the bracket down and around because I don't want to take off all their fixture or their mirrors off of here right now. So what I'm trying to do basically is just show you how our brackets adapt to these one and an eighth inch arm. Here I'm going to install what I say a five and a half by eight and a half convex spot mirror on the bracket now that would uh, make your convex connection below your west coast mirror. So see it's that easy just putting the bracket here. The bracket did go, um, it did go here. So you can put it up there it's just a matter of uh, me being able to oh that's my what'd you do with my 716 yeah, i got my 716 now i want to tighten this up and then you would have this set up here underneath your west coast mirror right now again i picked a uh, particular truck where they have uh, wires running through here so i don't want to remove all the wires off this new truck basically what i'm trying to show you here today is how you can adapt mirrors to the existing brackets of one and an eighth inch tubing so you can um, you have alternatives to these mirrors in event that something should happen you would be able to find mirrors to on uh, to put on these brackets so again using our one and an eighth inch brackets which is our 1100 series brackets these being 1130 this being 1140 and then a particular west coast in our spot here here again you could use round for our five and a half by eight and a half so we're kind of uh for uh for cosmetics looks the square and the square Okay, uh, I think that's it for right now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how about adapting a mirror on the top of it for an extension bracket for you, uh, your wide load mirrors. Okay, we're going to go into that right now. So I'll be right back in a minute.